It kind of feels like we are walking in a very dark tunnel right now. However, there's a glimmer of light at the end of the tunnel. What is that light coming from? Is that light coming from a train that is coming straight towards us? Or is that light coming from sunlight where we can be sitting on the beach sipping a drink with an umbrella? I know that light is not coming from the bow of the train and I know that light is paradise. To me, it appears that every news segment leads with the death of real estate or every headline online is talking about how high mortgage rates are. Everyone sees these headlines, but only 30% actually read the article. Crazy stat, isn't it? 70% of the people make a decision on what to do based on the headline only. In this special episode of the Martini Mortgage Podcast, let me take you beyond the headlines and deep into the story that no one is talking about today. Welcome to a very special episode, episode 147 of the Martini Mortgage Podcast. My name is Kevin Martini and I'm a certified mortgage advisor with the Martini Mortgage Group, which is located in Raleigh, North Carolina. However, myself, along with a very talented crew of mortgage professionals, help families in all 100 counties of North Carolina and pretty much in every state in the U.S. too. I'm calling this special episode of the Martini Mortgage Podcast, Now is the Real Estate Opportunity. Deceleration of home values, inventories increasing, inflation at a four-decade high, $6 gasoline, mortgage rates fluctuated upward, the Fed, and the evil R-word, recession. So much to unpack. Where do I start? As a primer, one needs to know that mortgage rates live in the bond market. The nemesis to a bond is inflation, because inflation erodes the return of a bond. When bond prices fall to attract more buyers, a higher yield is offered. When a higher yield is offered, it means there are higher home loan rates available in the market. Higher mortgage rates did not cause inflation. Higher mortgage rates did not cause inflation. And for the people in the back, let me say it another way. Inflation drives mortgage rates. So when inflation rises, you will see that mortgage rates rise too. This is very important to understand because a driving force to bond prices is inflation. It is my opinion, inflation is going to get worse before it will get better. So that means mortgage rates are going to get more expensive. And you know what else is going to get more expensive? That's right, homes. Yes, granted, homes will not appreciate the levels that they have over the last several years, but they are going to appreciate. With that said, I am reminded of what my real estate partner always shares with her clients. She says this, marry the house, but date the rate. What an amazing analogy and one that is not just timeless, but very timely today. Let me talk about the Consumer Price Index, which is also referred to as the CPI for a hot moment. At the time of this recording, which is at the last days of June 2022, the CPI had a reading of 8.6%. It is critical one understands that CPI is a measurement from the same month last year. This is very important to understand. CPI is a measurement from the same month a year ago. Here is the Kevin Martini forecast on inflation and mortgage rates. First, mortgage rates will be basically at the current level until mid-July 2022. And many news outlets will be claiming that inflation has peaked in mid-July. When I say mid-July, the pivot to even higher mortgage rates will start on July 13th. Why do I believe people will say inflation has peaked in July? Well, simply put, we know that in June 2021, the inflation reading was 0.9, and the June 2022 numbers will be compared to the June 2021. 
Here is the thing that one needs to keep top of mind. In July 2021, the CPI was at 0.5. In August 2021, the CPI was at 0.3. And in September 2021, the CPI was at 0.4. Punchline. The CPI was low as compared to today. So it's my opinion, with $6 gasoline and with all the containers just waiting to ship from Shanghai, there will not be a rinse and repeat of those percentages. Inflation will rise significantly and so will mortgage rates. Then let us pepper in the July 27th and the September 21st Fed meeting. Wow. It would be nice if we heard the Fed use the word pause at their September 21st meeting. However, I have found that the Fed is always late to the party and they stay too long at the party. With that said, I see the Calgary coming to help mortgage rates towards the end of 2022, but more likely in the beginning of 2023. The rate one has today will not likely be the rate they will have in 2023 or 2024 because based on the data, the pure data, there will be rate relief and an opportunity to marry an even lower rate than one has secured in 2022. So why not just wait? Why should one marry the house and date the rate today? Why not just date the house? In other words, why doesn't one just rent and wait? I can understand why one would ask this question. The answer to the question is simple. Because home values will continue to keep growing and growing and growing. With an open heart, right now we are living in what people will call in the future the good old days of real estate. Yes, right now is still an epic time to buy a home, to call home, and right now is an epic time to buy a house to rent, even with the fact that I believe a recession is imminent. Yes, a recession is ahead, and recessions have proven to be positive for home values. In the U.S., there have been six recessions since 1980. One of the six was the Great Recession, where home values went down 19.7%. One needs to know this. The demand that was before the Great Recession was based on speculation, and speculation made prices skyrocket. The housing market caused the Great Recession. The recession did not cause the housing crisis. Again, recession does not mean housing crisis. If you take the Great Recession out of the equation, four out of five times there was a recession in the U.S., home values went up an average of 5.5%. The one out of five times it went down, it went down 1.9%. There was a real estate bubble that was created during the Great Recession. The real estate bubble was created in part by speculation. Today, real estate is needed and there is an undersupply. Let me go into a little bit more detail on the need for housing and housing demand. Let me start with household formations. First, what is household formations? Simply put, someone li lives with mom and dad and they leave their mom and dad's house to occupy a new place. So when one occupies a new residence without vacating your residence is a household formation. Here's another example. A couple is living together, but they break up and one moves out. You now need to to replace two with one, and this is another example of household formation. In the US, there are 1.4 million new household formations. Oh, by the way, household formations are about 20% above the average right now. So simply put, there is a real demand based on need. 1.4 million people need a roof. Today, 
there are 1.7 million housing starts. But a housing start is not a new home ready for delivery. So it's just a place where there's a shovel that's going in the ground. So that is not a metric to look at. Com completed houses is, and that is at 1.3 million right now. But remember, annually there are about 100,000 homes that are destroyed. So now there's actually only 1.2 million homes and there is a need for 1.4 million homes. So there's a deficit right now of 200,000 homes. Is home ownership right for you and your family? I don't know. But what I do know is that you owe it to explore your options that are available. I truly believe to create generational wealth, one needs to own real estate. I also know that the process of home ownership always starts with the home loan first and then go find your home. It's never find your home first and then find the right loan. My name is Kevin Martini and I am a certified mortgage advisor and I'm here to help. I know in this special episode of the Martini Mortgage Podcast, there was a lot of data I shared. I'm here to answer your questions about it. If homeownership is right for you, right now is an unprecedented time to take advantage of the epic opportunity. Thank you for tuning in and please share this episode with someone you care about. Now it's time for the disclaimer. This material has been prepared for marketing purposes only. This is not a loan commitment or a guarantee of any kind. Loan approval and rates are dependent upon borrower's credit, collateral, financial history, and program availability at time of loan origination. Rates and terms are subject to change without notice. The Martini Mortgage Group at PCL Financial is a division of Celebrity Home Loans, NMLS number 227765, with a branch address of 507 North Blunt Street, Raleigh, North Carolina, 27604. You can contact me, Certified Mortgage Advisor and Producing Branch Manager, Kevin Martini, NMLS 143962, by calling the branch, and that number is 919-238-4934. For a full list and more licensing information, please visit www.nlsconsumeraccess.org or by visiting www.martinimortgagegroup.com. Equal housing lender.